this is the fairest um, this is the fairest uh, fairest is that the first uh, option you can use to solve uh, this problem and we will use a while loop first you have to initialize the, you have to initialize the counter the counter would begin one and also you have to initialize the sum which is initially zero and um, and you have to also uh, create an instance of the scanner class which allows you to um, uh, the user to enter uh, the number so you could say scanner new scanner and it takes system it takes system dot in and uh, when you initialize the scanner you have to ask the user uh, enter a non zero uh, positive integer and then you have to store it in a variable we'll call it number and scanner next int then you would do while loop um, the counter is less than or equal to number if that condition is met if the counter is less than or equal to the number the user enters uh, then we have to stop the uh, the loop um, until then we have to each time the the loop runs we want to store the sum um, the sum variable to um, to the to the number that is uh, that is running. Each iteration, you know, for example, if the the user enters uh, twenty, and the first time it will begin one, uh, we want to start that one next iteration it will run two we have to store it uh, that two until we we reach uh, the number that the user enters uh, in this case maybe it's 20 um, and uh, we have to continue until uh, that number is, is reached so we will store the, the, the sum variable um, whatever the counter is and each time the uh, the loop runs we want to increment by one so after the uh, the loop uh, um, the loop ends we want to display the result total is equal to sum so let's run it enter a number let's say 55 uh, 55 is the total is 1540 I think it's correct let's uh, let's run uh, let's choose another number let's say 10 the total is 55 I think I think it, it, it is correct if you, if you use your calculator, if you add 1 plus 2, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 4, 4 plus 5, until you reach 10, I think you would um, you would get you know, the number 55. So this is, um, this is the, the while loop. Uh, but you can also use a for loop. You know, the second, the second option is, uh, is to use a, a while loop, uh, a for loop. So we would um, we would comment out uh, this option. Um, so you would say a uh, for int i int i uh, the initial 
the when the the, the loop the loop starts it will start one because the 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 problem asks us to start from one and I would uh, go until we reach um, we reach the the number until I is less than or equal to the number and each time the loop runs we want to increment by one so what, what, what do what do we want uh, each time the loop runs we want to add whatever um, I is to the sum um, okay. so after the loop uh, ends we want to display the total Minus inter fifty five. Yes, it 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 is correct. It it, it shows uh, fifteen forty, just like before. Let's also test it uh, ten. It uh, returns uh, fifteen. Let's um, let's test uh, three. It would be six. It's correct because one plus two is five. Uh, three, three plus three is six. So this is uh, this is this problem is it's not that uh, difficult if you understand how to use uh, loops, um, a while loop or, or for loop, and um, I will I will post it. Um, I will post it on my website or in the description, and um, you can you can uh, practice it and copy it if you want. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.